Okay, today we are going to use our highlighters and pen in order to make a mushroom. And we are also going to use the neurographic style for part of it, particularly the background, the leaves, and the inside of the mushroom, adjusting the, the solid line weight to something that's a little bit more interesting. So let's get started. So take out one piece of paper from your project pad, open up your sketchbook. I'm going to this page because it's uh, the page that I used for the last project and it has some little marks on it. And so if I use this to do my drawing, then if my ink goes off of my um, project paper, it goes onto my sketchbook and not onto my desk. So we're going to take the circle, small circle template, put it in the middle of our project paper, up toward the top, not so that it touches the top, but just like a little ways below the top. We're using our pencil to start the sketch, and we're just going to trace the top half of our small circle template. Take that off and put that aside. Then we're going to take our large circle template and we're going to put it pretty much in the middle of our paper. So equally divided from top to bottom, someplace around here. And we wanna put it below where our small circle template was. And we're going to trace the bottom half. Now we're going to connect the top semicircle to the bottom semicircle by kind of dragging it down and then making this little like uh, curve. And same thing on this side, we're gonna drag it down and then curve out so that it connects. So it'll look kind of like a bell. And this becomes uh, the main part of our mushroom. Now we're looking up under the mushroom. You can kind of see this. So we're going to make this line here by giving ourselves, I'm gonna give myself a couple little starter marks. And then I know that I want to have the um, top of the underside about halfway from the top to the bottom. So about halfway from the top to the bottom just giving myself a little mark so that I know where I'm going to. And then I'm going to curve this line around, up and hit that mark. And it's making kind of an oval shape. That will be the inside of my mushroom. Now, the stalk, I think that's what it's called on a mushroom. Is that what it's called? Anyway. Uh, is going to be in here and coming down. So I'm gonna give myself a little oval. It's a little ways off of the bottom semicircle. And just really lightly, important to draw these lines with very little pressure, kind of coming out almost like a tree trunk. getting wider at the bottom. And the reason that I drew this all in pencil, and you can be using your HB or your 6B, I just happened to pick up whatever pencil was handy, so this is a cheap mechanical pencil. But using my eraser, I'm going to erase the bottom part of that oval. And I'm also going to erase the part of the oval from the top of my mushroom cap so that my stalk goes through. Now it really looks like you're looking up um, underneath a really cool looking mushroom. Mushrooms oftentimes have kind of little sections of the stalk. And so I'm going to kind of draw this irregular shape, which is going to be 
that part of the mushroom that's pushing up into the underside of the cap. And then maybe another one. Mine doesn't have to look exactly like yours. Yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It's just where that part of the mushroom kind of uh, looks interesting. And then these little lines are, because I'm looking up underneath my mushroom cap, these little lines are where this little fringe goes behind the stalk. I'm gonna do the same thing here and here to kind of like um, push that sense of perspective. And maybe my mushroom stalk has a couple of lines coming down and maybe it has some spots. I'm making these not round but oval. That will help can be convincing with my um, perspective. Maybe your mushroom doesn't have spots or maybe the spots are slightly different on yours. For this project I'm going to be using my thick permanent marker. You can decide to use the same or if you like thin lines or a combination um, you can decide to do whatever you like for your particular artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully trace my mushroom shape. I'm going to trace the cap. and the stalk. And sometimes I make little changes as I go. So I might make these little like indicators of where that little ruffle is a little bit more organic, more mushroomy. And I kind of like having like dashed lines sometimes instead of solid lines. So I'm going to do that on the stem. You can do what makes sense to you. And for the texture on my uh, mushroom, I'm going to use my thinner pen. I know I said I was going to use the thick one for the whole thing, but sometimes I change my mind as I go. Now there's one more thing that I'd like to draw with my pencil, and that's the inside of the mushroom cap. Um, what I'm going to do is try to make lines that give texture and then also show kind of that you're looking up into that cap. So I'm going to start down here behind my mushroom stem and I'm going to make a line that comes out and then curves down. I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then I'm gonna do that again. And then I'm going to do a line that goes straight up but kind of wiggles. And then in between these, I'm going to do a line that kind of wiggles on the way out, something like that. I'm trying to give that sense that there's that mushroom cap up underneath. If you're not happy with one of these lines, now is the time to change it. Hopefully you've drawn lightly without a lot of pressure with your pencil and so that you can change those uh, that drawing until you're happy with it. Once you know that you're happy with it, you can come back. And I'm going to do this with my thicker Sharpie. Now's the time that I can start applying my neurographic approach. So I'm going to go ahead and Carefully curve out any hard corners. So 
say those are where any of my lines meets another line. It makes a hard corner. I'm going to soften that corner using that neurographic technique. I really love the way that this uh, makes the lines look. I feel like lines are basically for writing words, but once you adjust the weight or the thickness of the line, it becomes art. It's so cool, I love it. I might even adjust, kind of curve out the corners on my mushroom stem. Oh, that's what it's called. Not a stalk, a stem. <laughs> Sometimes my brain doesn't work when my eyeballs are making art. And down here as well, where any of these lines meet another line. I kind of like this too because it kind of looks like a shadow. I love that. Now, also with my thick pen, I'm going to make kind of wavy lines that crisscross each other in the background for the sky. And I'm going to make grass down here at the bottom because my little mushroom is in a field of grass. So I'm going to start by making the grass and I'm going to, um, well, you can either do it with pencil first or you can just jump in if you feel brave. Part of this is kind of like feeling your way around any mistakes and adjusting mistakes to make them work for you. So don't worry about making it perfect. Um, you can use your pencil first if you want to. If you want to use your pencil first, make sure that you have very little pressure so it's easy to erase. Okay, so I'm going to um, start by making this curved line off of the right and then turn that into a leaf. And then I'm going to make uh, another line that comes down here. Uh, maybe I'll bring my leaf up in front of my mushroom and maybe do another leaf that crisscrosses over something like that. Maybe I'll make a leaf over or a grass blade. I guess it's more like a blade of grass. Maybe there's one that comes up here, crosses over. Maybe there's one that starts where this one left off comes down like that. Maybe, let's see, I'm gonna make here, maybe there's one that comes down and crosses over and then becomes a leaf. Maybe I take this line and I go behind and I curve down and I turn this into, I keep saying leaf. I really mean grass blade. I guess it doesn't really matter. And then maybe this one comes up and then extends. Um, one comes up here and this one maybe there's one that comes way up here and then down I'm trying to connect the top of the leaves in some of these um, into the background and then the ones that are in front of my mushroom 
just had the corners. Doesn't have to be perfect and doesn't have to look exactly like mine. So I made my leaf shape and then I'm going to go ahead and extend it off of the page. That's probably the way I should have done it to begin with. Anyway, now that I have kind of these nice leaves down here, oh, nice grass down here, I'm gonna make the sky in the background and the sky is gonna be really simple. I'm just making lines from the left side to the right side. And when it hits my mushroom, I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to come back up and curve around. And then I do want these to crisscross over each other because it's where um, the lines crisscross that we get that beautiful neurographic feel. There we go. And I like to add a little bit of texture to my um, mushroom cap. So if it looks a little bit too plain, I'm going to make little circles, because circles are fun, and little dots. Mostly around the outside of my mushroom just to give it some texture. Down around the bottom, I'm using my thin pen for all texture. And my thick pen for the profile. I have a couple of little dots in the middle, but I like emphasizing the outside of the mushroom. And maybe there's a little bit of texture in the little mushroom dots. Okay, now it's time to color. Go ahead and go to your pens and highlighter chart. Decide what colors you're wanting to use. Flip over your paper and give yourself a little guide for the colors that you want to use. I think I might use um, for the mushroom, my number four. and maybe a very light number three for a shadow. And since I don't have a red, maybe I'll use a number eight. I don't know for the, um, the dots, the spots. And then for the sky, I think I wanna make it blues. So sky, maybe I want to use
Okay, let's see how it turns out.